think so. Okay. So what's the title? Uh, the title is How to Draw an Invisible Man. Uh, I'm working on a series of poems that are about uh, how to be drawn. It, I think maybe that'll be the name of the book. So I took this opportunity to think about that. And some of it is like the impossibility of being drawn or lured or depicted. So I thought, oh, How to Draw an Invisible Man seems like a good title. Although <laughs> the last line was once the title, which is, who knows but that on the lower frequencies I speak for you, which is the last line of The Invisible Man. And what I would say is it was good to go back into The Invisible Man, which was a novel that I, I've read. At one point, I used to read it every year. Uh, so I've read a couple of times. Um, and in the last, I guess, 10 or so years, I've really paid much more attention to his essays. So he has this essay, uh, The Little Man in Chiha Station. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's what's underneath the poem, uh, this idea that uh, there's always someone in the audience who knows more than you, uh, <laughs> in the American audience, in the democratic American audience. Uh, okay, so how to draw an invisible man, you know, working title. You are nearly invisible, Ralph Ellison, but there are tracks of your syntax about the land. Bear with me. I am in the middle of a sentence set in America with her ghostly continents, hoping to, un hoping to comprehend your temperament. Ralph Ellison, master of anthropology, unapologetic Orphic misanthrope, speaking beseechingly for lower frequencies. I am scanning the democratic vistas envisioned by Emerson and immigrants, dogmas, aboriginal progeny, scholastic recriminations, dementia, hubris, what did I do to be so black and blue and green, bear with me. It's true I grow afraid and then ashamed, approaching my door when the only thing at my back is a black wind burglarizing leaves from the trees. I have tried to live transparently. In the Chiha station, amid the outraged behemoth machines, the past asked me, who speaks for you? I have left out the part about the distance between Roz the extorter and Roz the destroyer, the costly propositions of demoted prophets, brotherhoods, hooded brothers, various Reinhardts aiming to master spiritual technology. It is just as you dreamed it would be, Ralph Ellison, people of a certain hue running the streets are free so long as they run unseen. There are perks to invisibility. We are obliged to shun the zoo, the farm animals. It has something to do with captivity. Bear with me. It may be that our sobs made your words blur to a shade too emphatic to make anyone disappear completely. In the darkness, the eyes are lost. In the coffin, you still looked angry, someone said, and it was repeated as ancient. America was your muse, someone said, and it was repeated as music. All I said was, I care less and less about the shapes of shapes because forms change and nothing is more durable than feeling. What did I do to be so blue? Who knows but that on the lower frequencies I speak for you. So yeah, you know, still working it out. I see like edits and things. Uh, nice. We'll see, part elegy, part meditation on uh, him and characters, you know, Roz the Exhorter and Roz the Destroyer, the distance between those figures, Reinhardt, um, some figures who show up late when he's in Harlem. Um, and there have been other characters, there's sections here that I just took out, you know, as I was reading, like, oh, that, I think the transitions are better. So, but the thing that interests me is the, the Chiha, the little man in Chiha Station, which just gets a little cameo in the poem, but that idea of who speaks for whom, and how that is the link, that the great essay, I think, uh, and then that last line of the novel, which is, who knows, but that on the lower frequencies, I speak for you. So a lot of what uh, he seemed to be interested in and what interested me as I took on this project is that idea of who's saying what, for whom, who's speaking and when. So we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, I still got some work to do on it, but at least it, I made it you know, this far with it. <laughs> So it's still, I was like, oh, maybe I won't read it tonight, but, but there you go. We'll see what happens. Great.